Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to configure SSH on the router on the, on the switch. Um, so it's the preferred way now because SSH is more secure than the telnet. Telnet is not secure. So let's get started on the on, let's configure our DHCP server first. Let's give it an IP address of 192.168.1.2. Okay, one dot three dot one dot one and pages three. Okay, close config since this is a DHCP server. So we'll create a default gateway one dot one ten seven this. 1.20 and save uh, DNS is uh, okay. add close now that uh, uh, route the server is being configured let's go ahead and configure router now Default uh, the VLAN one is active on every switches which you buy one dot two. Then if you want you can create a separate VLAN or different VLAN if you want. But I'll stick to this for this simple lab. Uh, all I have to do is go in the desktop, click on DHCP. So, am I able to ping these uh, systems? Uh, let's try that. Okay, I'm able to ping from this PC to this PC, which is 22. Okay, so let's configure uh, SSH line VDP lines. So, now go there. We need to create uh, enable. Right. Uh, this is class. Okay. For a privilege mode password. Uh, now let's go with online. We divide zero. Sorry, we divide zero to say fifteen. Because there are fifteen lines. So uh, uh, before that, sorry about that. We need to create a. Uh, a domain so IP dash name servermaster.com uh, and you need to specify crypto key generate RSA hit enter and there are uh, for, you can there's a range from 360 to 2048 this is the best but it will take longer time to encrypt so let's stick to 102 which is default and hit enter a couple of times it's been enabled so and if you want to create an additional thing like IP SSH version this um, IP, yeah, SSH version 2, which is the latest version, uh, or you can stick to 1, doesn't matter. Uh, 9, we divide 0 to 15. Now we need to type transport, input, SSH, hit enter, 
and type in login local cult because you will be using the uh, local username and password on save on this router so login local and one more thing i forgot to mention is username you specify the username uh, ID. i'll use admin and you can specify secret which will be encrypted with md5 algorithm uh, and then what should i put let's say cisco one two three okay two right okay and if i go over here on this switch and do the same thing like ip domain dash name dot com username admin uh, secret is go one two three uh, crypto key generate RSA and the key would be one zero two four and hit the enter four times and that is enabled and now let us go on nine fifty five zero to fifteen and transport import SSH and type in login dash local space local and exit out of there and create a enable secret class for the privilege mode password and do make sure you do uh, copy the running into the server config now if we want to let's see if we want to telnet Telnet is not going to work, but I'm showing you why it's not going to work because we have uh, inserted the command called transport input SSA, so it's uh, disabled. Uh, so the uh, Telnet is disabled over there. And if you try to SSH on, to, all you need to type in SSH minus L or dash L space the username which we had provided admin. And the IP address of that router 192.168.1.1. Hit enter, it will ask you the password which is Cisco 123. Enable and the privilege mode password is class. So we are in the privilege mode. Now, if you want to put in the global company, we are in the router. Exit. Now in the similar manner, if you want to do this to a switch, tap in enter, um, okay, type in Cisco, want to do, enable, now you're in the uh, switch as well, so this is how you do the configuration on the switch and the routers, whichever it is, and that's about it. And one more thing I want to mention is uh, the way you can specify this command onto these PCs. Uh, the thing is that on your actual equipment, right now I'm using a laptop, I'm not able to do SSH. Why? Let me show you. Okay. If I do help, and if I search for SSH, I'm not able to find SSH because SSH is not built into the uh, systems so you might have to use like a party terminal something like that to SSH into the router or switch whatever you want to SSH in that's all I have to say if you have any problems regarding this thing please let me know thanks for watching